wrote Rogers the musical. <laughs> what, what was it like taking one of Marvel's biggest franchises and having it turn into like a full-fledged musical? Uh, it was awesome, and I stand on the he, he shoulders. I can stand on the heels too. Stand on the shoulders. Um, you know that uh, Mark Shannon wrote a great number that was in uh, Hawkeye the series, and then. I think kind of online fans were like, what if uh, it would be hilarious if they actually like expanded that and Disneyland did. And I happily you know, shared this creation credit with uh, Jordan Peterson, who's our director, Chris Leonard, who also writes with Boys, uh, wrote a few songs to go with what Mark had created. Happily, the show was called Rogers the Musical and not Avengers the Musical. Um, but it was awesome because there's all this cool IP and it, it was a treat. I, I mean, I'm a Disney nerd, I'm a musical theater nerd, and I'm a Marvel nerd, so I was like, yes, please, absolutely. And it was so joyous. And you know, Mark had written that really great number where we saved the city, and it was a bop, and then Chris and Jordan and Alex Baracus came in and wrote incredible songs, and I had the joy of just kind of tying it together and in, in, in building what they had already done lyrically. They did, you know, nobody goes out, come in the book, do they? <laughs> Um, they should, but this was a joy. They had done so much heavy lifting, and like I said, it was called Rogers, so we knew it was about sort of like Steve Rogers and the love story with Captain America and um, uh, Peggy, you know, and so we kind of was in that, but we, we did feel the need to cover, you know, the nine films and how many things on Disney Plus. It's a massive universe, but uh, it's a love story with Steve and Peggy at its heart, and that kind of led the way. It was a joy, it was an awesome time. I, Shout out to, it's on your streaming platforms now, original, download that original cast recording. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. We were proud. But also, another bomb that you have is Otherworld. I want you to tell us a little Woo! bit about this, because who here does not know what Otherworld is? It's okay if you don't. How dare you all? No. I know, well, talk about nerdy, like, it's all, like, it all comes together, like, the nerdiness, is celebrated in an original musical, Otherworld, uh, that I wrote, and shout out to Anne McNamee and uh, Jeff Bowen, my writer and director here. And uh, we did a world premiere of it, shout out to Delaware Theater Company, uh, Matt Silva and the gang down there. Original musical about a fictional MMO. And uh, our world premiere down there uh, had Bobby Milligan, Tony Leonard, from Kimberly Kendall in it, um, incredible cast. And it is a musical about an MMO, a fictional MMO. That IP, Ready Nerds, uh, was designed, the game IP of the fictional show was designed by Weta Workshop. Um, I know, get into it. If you don't know Weta, why are you here? Um, but if you do, you love them probably from The Lord of the Rings and Avatar and District 9 and on and on and on. They are massive creative geniuses, so they created this IP. And now we move in, so there's this musical that exists, and hopefully we'll have the next step will announce soon. And from that musical, why not go full nerd and make an original comic book based on a musical, based on a fictional <laughs> MMO. So uh, Andy can come by, what's our booth number? 4117. 4117, and get the, uh, the first issue. We dropped the first issue of it, and we're going to do several Today. issues. And shout out to Dakota McPadzine, um, who is here, who adapted it. The amazing two artists adapted the musical into a comic book graphic novel, so I don't think it gets any nerd in. It's about two people are signed into a fictional video game. So yeah. Nerd out with me, nerds. If you want it signed, he's doing free science with Dakota after this at our booth at 2.30, so you can come on down there, okay? So 